Hey everybody and welcome back to some more City Skylines Green Cities. We're back on this rainy day here in Sunnyside Square, right outside of the newly built high school, which seems to be doing pretty well. It's right here in the smack bang middle of town. There is a fire going on just across the road, which is not great, um, especially in these eco houses. They all seem to be made of like uh, reusable, maybe like wooden materials. So it looks like they do burn quite easily, which is not, not the best whatsoever, but... Um, I have got a couple of plans for today's episode, the first of which is to invest in a little bit of public transport. You may remember in the last episode, we looked at the biofuel bus depot, which works exactly the same as a regular bus depot, but it sends out these biofuel buses, which again are just like regular buses, but they're quieter, making the whole area here um, just a nicer place to live. Also, uh, we do have a bit of a problem, or we're starting to have a bit of a problem with traffic. And as you can see, here from this massive line of tractors that we have a lot of the traffic is coming uh, from the farming district a lot of cars want to get from the highway to the farming district and right now to do that they have to drive directly through sunnyside square and so as i mentioned in the last episode one of the things that i'd like to take care of in today's episode is setting up a um, another road that can connect up this area over here along through this next tile and over to the highway but before we get into that i want to make sure uh, that we have enough money to to set up a decent public transport system. So uh, I think I'm going to put down my bus depot probably like right about there. Uh, so it's just outside. It's like area of noise is just far enough away so it doesn't affect any of the buildings over here. And now, oh my goodness, look at this. It's got like big old tanks next to it where they're going to store all the biofuel. I have never seen a bus depot that looks like this, but uh, if it works, it works. So uh, let's make sure we keep pressing play here because I, of course, want our city to keep making money uh, whilst we put this stuff down. And actually, I'm thinking that I might mix this up a little bit. What I might do is once we get up to 40,000 again, I'm thinking we might have a tram line that goes straight through the center and then have bus lines that take people from kind of within the suburbs here over to the main road and then they can get on the tram that will then take them straight through over and across here uh, to the farming district which is very busy my goodness there are so many tractors it is actually insane my goodness okay so uh, whilst we wait for some money to pour in let's go back over to the buses here and let's see about setting up a couple of bus lines so uh, essentially here and i've got to remember that we're on uh, right hand traffic for whatever reason um in city skylines you can't change the side of the road people drive on in scenarios you can do it in uh, in single player but if you play any of the scenarios it just doesn't let you uh, change the side of the road um and for somebody who lives in england and we drive on the left hand side of the road trying to organize the city to drive on the right hand side is just a little bit of a pain so i'm thinking if we can get them to come here and then just connect back up there so now like this quadrant of the city can just get on the bus and then get to the main road nice and easily pretty much wherever they live which is good and already you can probably hear the dings of uh, buildings being upgraded people love having those bus lines in uh, in the city there which is great and then we'll do a similar thing over here we will of course uh, change the color of these bus lines to make sure they all kind of look unique and our uh, and they're easily recognizable when we go to uh, to like manage them a little bit later on so i think i'll have one there and then maybe have it come out to like here so people can get to these shops and then finally just loop back around like that and we might even put one like right there or something as well just to kind of cover that whole area there um and so now if we head on into the uh, the public transport um section here we should be able to change the color of that and i like to stick with like basic colors uh, to start with here so we'll have a red line we'll have a blue line we'll then go in probably for a green line and then like a yellow line so we'll do like this and pretty much the exact same setup so like there like there a little bit different in every uh, in every quadrant despite the fact uh, that they are pretty much identical across the board we could do something like that and then finally uh, we can do something that looks a little bit like this we do seem to be having a bit of a problem with dead people which is not at all great i will have this one kind of overlap with the uh, the other one there just a little bit um and i think the uh, the reason why we're having that issue is because we don't have actually i'm not a huge fan of this bus line let me quickly like reinvent this one can i pull that back get rid of that and then we'll have it come like up through here and then i think it's going to loop back on itself a little bit which is a little bit inefficient i know but we'll have it go like that and then stop there and then connect up there i think that works out 
a little bit better. It's not the longest bus line in the world that doesn't quite cover as much ground as some of the other ones. I quite like this red one. I think that one might be my favorite so far, uh, but we'll change this one to be green. We'll change this one to be yellow, and then we will start looking into the cause of these uh, deaths. Now, I think the problem that we are having is that we don't have a cemetery, and so all of the people who are dying don't have anywhere to go. Now, where exactly I want to put this, I'm not quite sure. People actually quite like having cemeteries nearby, and so I think I might just put it I don't want to put it where houses are, simply because of the fact that we've already got quite high demand for residential, and I don't want to be getting rid of buildings uh, whilst people are wanting more. And so I think for the time being, I'll probably just put it like right there. That should be good enough for now and should be enough, I think, to cover uh, this entire Sunnyside Square district that we have set up right now. So we've got the bus lines, which is good. And we've also managed to earn uh, a cool 64,000 whilst we wait. And so we should now uh, be able to fairly easily afford one of these tram stations, which I think I will just throw down again right about there. It is going to cause a bit of noise pollution to kind of leak over for these guys over here hopefully it's not too too bad and then all we have to do is upgrade all of these kind of main roads here in the center to the uh, the two lane roads with trams now unfortunately i think that is going to put all of the traffic lights back in oh no it doesn't actually put any traffic lights in good 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 because i didn't want to have to go through and and redo all of those again but if we do something like this, I think, uh, the problem with trams is having them turn around because the tram can get to the end of the line, but it needs to be able to turn around in order to get back onto the other side of the road. So we are going to have to do uh, probably a little bit of tweaking to our road system uh, it's on both sides of the uh, the tram line here to make sure uh, that the, uh, the trams can actually turn around. Because again, here, I'm not quite sure where they're going to go. I could have the trams go all the way up and through over to here, but I really want the trams to have a, a very small effect on traffic. And usually when you have trams all over the place, they do tend to cause a bit of a backlog. Uh, you can see here they do like vehicles stop to let the trams go past, which makes sense, but it also uh, does slow things down just a little bit. Uh, so I'm thinking we might even have these go all the way along like this because we're probably going to have more than one tram line. And so we'll have one that kind of heads on over to this side and we'll put like a little turnaround at the end there. And then we'll do the same thing over on this side, switch over to two lane, uh, grab the two lane road with tram track and then just do something like this. I don't think these look particularly great, but they, they work so the tram can get here and it can turn around and it can head on back. And then we'll do the same thing over on this side, like that, like that. And like that and then finally we have to figure out how we're going to do the same thing here um, at the end of this road and i think that we are probably just going to have to do something as horrible as it looks kind of like that it looks a little bit weird it kind of sticks out at the end there but it does complete uh, the full tram line and so what we should be able to do now is if we head on back over into uh, public transport uh, we should be able to set up a few tram lines and i would like these to stop pretty much wherever um, a bus line stops. And again, they go on the right-hand side of the road. So uh, we're going to bring it up like this. It's going to stop wherever a bus stop stops, and then we'll have it come all the way across. Uh, and then we'll have like one stop here, just in case anyone works uh, kind of in the immediate area. And then we'll have one here, one here. We'll do like one probably like there and then one there, and then we'll have it run all the way back, making sure that it stops off again at the bus stops on the way so that if people want to get on it, they can. And then it's going to jump back and connect up to that. Nice. Uh, now I do want to do the same thing again. So I'm going to quickly change uh, the color of that tram line to be probably like an orangey color. So I'll bring it back down just a little bit uh, like that. And then we'll do the same thing again because the new one here uh, is going to be purple. And just like with the previous one, I kind of want this line uh, to again stop at all of the same stops. Can I get out of the tram line in here? I think I can. I don't know if it's going to necessarily stop. There we go. I want it there. I want it there i want it to stop there just like that one does and then again like there it's kind of hard you gotta like put the mouse just in the right spot for it to connect up and then this one is going to do pretty much the exact same thing but it's going to run uh, and actually i'll get rid of that one we'll have it run across here and here and here you can see now they've got people uh, they're looking for workers hopefully uh, the idea of the public transport here is it will bring in uh, more workers uh, from the sunny side square and then again over there and then pretty much uh, exactly the same and connect up like that nice we've now got two tram lines um, and hopefully quite a lot of trams hopefully enough to get all the people who want to get over to the farming area to the farming area and then it might not be a terrible idea once they get to the farming area uh, to have 
maybe like another bus line or two uh, that takes people from the tram line like around and across and again they drive on the the, the other side of the road it gets me every time um i guess we can do let's do like here and then here and then we'll collect everybody who comes on a tram here and then we'll go up like this and we'll just connect it back up like that. So if anyone uh, stops on this side, they can easily get a bus um, pretty much to everywhere in this section. And then the other side here is definitely going to be um, a longer road. But we'll have those guys come, uh, I guess, from here to here to here to here. And then kind of just in and around the city like so. I'm not too bothered about going down these little, like, uh, small dead-end roads. Um, instead, I kind of want to make sure we stick to the main roads like this very long bus line but it will end up looping back around and connecting up like so nice and again just to make things different here i will change these colors uh, to like white and black there we go and we'll have the blue one there on the left nice so now uh, we can look at our public transport system and it looks a lot healthier than it did before it should be a lot easier uh, for everybody to get around but we are starting to run into a massive problem with the uh, the farming district not having enough workers so uh, we need to i think slow down just a little bit and work on getting some more residential zoning down so i'm thinking that the next batch of houses that i want to put down are going to be kind of riverfront houses they're going to go right over here uh, by the river and to get there i'm thinking about having like a bit of a main road that kind of comes straight off of that fall in road and across like so and then i'm not quite sure here let me get rid of these pylons for now uh, we can go ahead and reconfigure those in just a second let me pause to make sure that i don't uh, go bankrupt whilst we do this and then i think what i'm going to do is something a little bit like this i kind of want to have like small i don't want it to go quite that far out i don't want it to go far enough out to where it it makes a bridge i want it to go just far enough out um actually no you know what i'm gonna change that real quick what i'm gonna do instead is i'm just gonna push the main road like a little bit further up maybe a bit further down than that like right oh i can't put it there really you're not gonna let me do that okay well have it go like this and so hopefully what that should allow is for buildings to pretty much just build right here on the riverfront. And then from there, I think I'll just connect up um, this road to the main circle using some roads like this. Again, I'm going to try and stick to the straight line kind of aesthetic that we've got here in Sunnyside Square, whilst also being just a little bit random, not quite just square blocks all over the place, because uh, I do like it to just be a little bit different. Uh, but I think we'll have that come on straight through like that, maybe? Yeah, I think I should be fine. And then we'll just fill this in again using a similar aesthetic to what we did before. Something like that. Something maybe like this and this and then maybe like that. Yeah, I think I should work out fine. And we'll do this. Uh, we can do this. And yeah, I quite like that. I quite like that um, a lot. So let's fill this in with water real quick like so. And then, of course, just a large amount of residential zoning because we have a massive demand for residential uh, again i don't want the residential to be here i kind of still want the outside of the like the main town to be dedicated to commercial but everywhere else i'm sorry to whoever just started building their houses here but pretty much everywhere else here especially uh, over by the riverfront these are gonna be very valuable properties uh, i won't have to go quite over to the water outlet because i'm assuming uh, that people are not too keen on on living near those but we can fill in the rest like that and there we go. That should hopefully uh, get rid of at least a little bit of the demand for residential that we've kind of built up over here uh, over the past like hour or so. And then I guess we should probably again throw down like a little park maybe. We'll put that down, preferably where no one lives yet. And then finally, we should really look to see what services we need. Also, my goodness, there are so many. Wow, there are so many buildings over here that just do not have enough employees. It is actually ludicrous. And also, they are now all on fire as well, which is not at all what we want. That is not going well. Things are not going well over in the farming district. Flipping heck, I think I might even lower taxes a little bit on residential just to try and bring people in. I don't want to lower them too much because we need to keep making that money in order to expand the city, of course. But uh, we'll try and lure people in ever so slightly um, with that. Uh, do we have a clinic? We do. I think I'll throw another clinic down 
over here, just for the people moving in. Uh, we've got a fire station, but it's quite far away uh, from the other half of town. So we'll put another one down, like, right about there. That should cover pretty much everybody. It does, apart from maybe these guys, but that's fine. Uh, police, I think, is still okay. And then how are we doing on education? Elementary school is fine. High school is fine. And then we do have a bit of demand for university, but we don't unlock that until a little bit later on down the line. So now we've done that. Um, I think it is probably actually about time that we sort out these pylons. My goodness, because I really don't like having those energy pylons that just go right across uh, the middle of the river like that. And I'm also not a huge fan of these ones here. And I don't think they're actually necessary because now that we've got all of this filled in, we can have our pylons that go from the wind turbines down to the city and the power should just transfer naturally across and over uh, to the water intake and the uh, the water windmills and then all we should have to do is have just one straight line of pylons that goes like right across like that and then connects up over here like that and i think that looks for now at least significantly nicer than what we had before i might change that again once we unlock like the next tile over but for now at least i think that looks just fine uh, so i'm really hoping that if I give this just a little bit of time, that the public transport we've set up will allow people to get to these buildings because oh, there's not enough workers. Despite the fact that at the start of the episode, we had like sky high demand for industrial and we didn't build any because we knew there were already buildings that were starting to run out of workers. I'm wondering if it's because of the fact that we don't have enough uneducated workers because all of these buildings hire pretty much solely uneducated workers you can see here nine uneducated and then there's like three well, there's maybe like four that are educated uh, one that's educated three that are well educated but the vast majority of the workers here are uneducated and i'm wondering if the uh the building of the high schools maybe had something to do with that i'm not quite sure it might have done uh, also i should throw down a couple more um commercial buildings like so and again i'll just kind of fill this in uh, for now at least i guess like round here is probably fine we'll do that and then I don't really want to build them too close to the highway here. I would prefer them to be, I guess, round on this side where people actually live. Like, that should be fine. And I quite like this. I quite like the new area. And I think we'll probably do something similar with, like, this space over here. Maybe have this uh, fall-in road come down like this. And then maybe connect over here. Maybe connect back up to the highway and just kind of fill in the area kind of around what will uh, hopefully eventually be, like, the core of our city. We can replace all of uh, this residential with high-density residential. So we can get some apartment buildings and some skyscrapers over here in the center of the city. And then kind of have smaller buildings as we head on out into what would be, uh, of course, the suburbs. Um, so... So, my goodness, this is really, it's not, the problem's not going away, it would seem. I'm going to give it a bit more time, I guess. Yeah, it's really, it, it, the buildings are just going under. Like, the buildings are just being demolished, which is not what I want at all. Um, I think it's still due to the lack of people. We haven't been keeping up with the influx of people. We do still have a bit of residential that keeps coming in, but every time it does, uh, there's still, like, enough residential land right now for people to build on we're probably going to have to start expanding out over to here sooner than i would have liked because it looks like the uh, the farming area expanded rapidly and then realized that the residential wasn't expanding quite so quickly uh, which is not great at all uh, also i have kind of uh, stumped my earlier plans because i want to buy this plot of land and i want to connect this up to the highway but right now we've got this uh, tram road here and so i think i am going to have to uh, tweak that just a little bit uh, but I think what we'll do is we'll just have this continue on like that, but we'll just change the tram line so that it comes out like here. So it does that. And so it can still turn around without affecting our ability to connect up to the highway. Uh, so we'll run this down all the way along like so, trying to keep it at a 90 degree like that pretty much as much as I possibly can. Uh, but now we've got to connect it up to the highway. So... Let me see here. We do have access now uh, to the highway roundabouts. And by those, I mean this guy right here, which is quite nice. Uh, so I think I'm going to have to get rid of a bit more of the highway on this side. And then if we do something like this and try and keep it straight, maybe can we get that to connect? Do I have to like build it a bit further out like that and then connect it up? That is completely fine. We'll do it like that and like that. That looks pretty good. And then I think we're going to have to bring this back a little bit further just so we can get a decent curve in here. Oh, I don't know. Even then, I don't know if we're going to be able to get a, like a decent looking curve on this. Like that. And then 
It's a bit too close. That's a bit, that's way too far. Like that? I mean, it does look a little bit janky, but I think for the most part, uh, that should work out just fine. And then, uh, just like before, uh, all I will do here is, I think, just have one fall inward like this, right in the middle, coming off. And then we'll do uh, probably the same thing we did last time with the one-way two-lane roads. Have one of them kind of curve out to the right like that, and then have one of them curve out to the left, like so. Oh, that is so horrifically unsymmetrical. Let me try that again. We'll do, maybe we won't go quite so far out, and then maybe, like, can I bring that in just a smidge? I think it looks better, but I'm still not a huge fan of it. It's still definitely somewhat lopsided, which I don't love. And then for now, we'll just do something uh, like this. I'm probably going to change that in the future, but it does kind of nicely encase all of this farming area here, especially if you have a road that kind of comes up like that. It does nicely encase this farming area here that I would like to expand out into um, later on in the series, but I don't know if that's going to be a possibility given, look at this, my goodness, the farming district has just been abolished. There's only, oh my goodness, is this what's happening? Amy, <laughs> look at how many there are. Amy's Baking Company is is kicking, they're taking all the workers and they're just kicking everybody else out. My goodness, that's all that's left. Wow, and you can see here it's filled up so quickly. Uh, so guys, what I'm going to do, I think here is I'm going to go away real quick and I'm basically going to do more of what I've just done. I'm going to expand out uh, further, I think, like down here and then have a building, like a road that comes over like this. I'm going to fill in this whole, oh, I didn't mean to do that. I'm going to fill in this whole uh, right-hand side of, um, of the circle here. I'm going to fill in like this whole area over here with some new residential, some new commercial, uh, because our demand again has skyrocketed and I'm going to try and get uh, enough workers for the farming district. So I'm going to go away, I'm going to build all of those and I'll be back in a second. not too long later we've now got a whole new area ready for a bunch of extra residential zoning uh, as and when we need it and also we're starting to creep in and get a tiny amount of demand for industrial again which is nice so you can see these uh you, you might have just seen live there one of those uh, little icons uh, telling us that they don't have enough workers disappearing and hopefully fingers crossed we'll get some more um industrial farms in here that are not owned by Amy's Baking Company uh, throughout the course of the next episode. I'm really just hoping that that last one right there disappears because, oh no, there's one over here as well. But once those two are gone, uh, there won't be any more buildings uh, that are saying they don't have enough workers, which is good. Um, and you could tell we had such high demand for residential. My goodness, you could see how quickly and how many people have filled in here. And we've still got demand uh, that's climbing up there. We also have quite a bit of demand for um, more commercial as well, which we don't really have the space for. I've started putting these down along uh, the riverfront here. I guess I can continue that along all the way down to the end there. But I think we might end up having a similar situation with commercial uh, if we put down too much too fast, uh, especially with not having having the uh, residential to back it up. So I'll throw down a bit more here. We don't need to go overboard with it, at least not just yet, because we don't have that much demand. Um, I can foresee maybe a bit of traffic on this road, um, and it might be in our best interest to maybe change uh, kind of this road here that goes right through the center of the main circle into a four lane road at some point uh, in the future, but we can do that uh, as and when traffic becomes bad. For now, what I might do after we become a busy town, what have we unlocked here? More city policy, uh, the oil industry specialization, free public transport. I might look at that. I'm not quite sure. It does lose us money, but it does incentivize people uh, to use our public transport system, which is always good. Encourage biking. We'll probably implement that just as part of our eco city uh, kind of policy here. Uh, filter industrial waste. I think that is new, but I think we'll also work on that. Electric cars is definitely new. 
That's something that we will definitely implement in our system here. Tropical Garden, the oil power plant, which we're not going to use because we can't use polluting sources. Uh, all of the uh, high tier police hospital and fire stations, uh, some fishing stuff, the higher tier bus station. Oh my goodness, you look so much stuff. A community pool. And uh, that is also definitely new as well. And a geothermal power plant. Wow. Okay, we might have to look at some of those uh, in the next episode. Flipping out, we've unlocked so much stuff. It is actually crazy. We're also making a ton of money now. We're making $5,000 per week, despite the fact uh, that we did lower taxes on the residential zoning there earlier in today's episode. And what is happening over here? Why are there so many farms that don't have people, but they're still building new ones? It's madness. It is actually madness. My goodness. Hopefully, my people just start moving in quicker and we can get just more stuff over here. It's actually insane flipping heck uh, also it's good to see people are using this road albeit not as much as i would like uh, but let's do some policy changes here i would like to implement uh, let's have a look city planning encourage biking for sure um filter industrial waste industrial buildings need to filter their waste making them pollute the ground a lot less cost two per industrial building per week so i don't think that our farms pollute the ground um, again we should keep checking on our goals over here to make sure that our ground pollution uh, doesn't creep over that 15% mark. But right now, it's at zero. So I don't think we have to worry about that with our farming district, although we might have to abandon our farming district in favor of something else at some point because it's really not going too well over here for the farmers whatsoever. But I am really happy uh, with how this looks over here. Uh, not quite sure if I'm going to make all of these buildings into eco buildings like we have done uh, with the center city. Um, I do quite like the eco buildings, but they all do look very similar, I find. They look very samey, whereas over here we've got a nice variety of different buildings which i quite like so uh, we might tweak that uh, we have just expanded quite a lot and so right now you can see uh, we don't have the capacity of high school uh, we also don't have the capacity for elementary school i'm going to assume that our power grid is being strained yeah we're on the brink of not being able uh, to provide power to everybody and then water i'm assuming is not too far away uh, from needing an upgrade as well because we have just expanded quite rapidly uh, in today's episode here but we do now have a much bigger city and we're much closer uh, to getting to that 50,000 population goal although we are still quite far away uh, from making that happen and i do want to connect this up over here but i'm not quite sure how i'm going to do that um, i might end up buying maybe this plot and implementing some kind of roundabout potentially although there is already this here i'm not quite sure we'll see and uh, we'll find out next time but for now guys i'm going to end this episode of city skylines green cities there as always if you did enjoy the video be sure to like it really does help out a lot leave a comment down below and subscribe if you haven't done so already to be the first to be notified when new videos go out again thank you for watching and i'll see you guys next time